Three, two, one. Welcome back. Uh, I don't know. Guess we're going to story mode, and I'm going to be taking the helm for prologue in chapter one. <laughs> Black shadows disgrace. So here we go. Remember when this used to look really cool? Yeah, it looks really cool. You got to be quiet. Though. And I just want to say, the story mode has the most epic music for a story that doesn't even make sense. That's why I love this story. So now we're jumping into chapter one, Captain Falcon's training. There's our boys. There's Aster Robin. <laughs> So we'll you give him the rundown of the mission while I'm going ham. All right. So basically, you see Captain Falcon just went in the ran a back alley, seen the Falcon logo, and, and that's where his base is, which is pretty cool. But anyway, the the goal of this mission is he just has to grab capsules, twenty capsules to be exact, and now or twenty five. I'm sorry, but and and now on paper it's really easy, and you'd be right, it really is. But I mean. This story mode is notorious for its late upper difficulties. Like normal mode, you, you should be able to beat normal mode no problem. It's when you get to like very hard and hard is why this game has an unforgiving difficulty spike. So see in the first lap that um, Epic here already just needs five more capsules. And he's doing good for time. So basically it's just getting you warmed up for like <laughs> What is to come? I have a third lap. <laughs> That's what they say, but I mean, if that was very hard, donezo. Game over. But anyway, we'll probably do that towards the end of this playthrough, is the very hard mode. For, just for, for shits and giggles. So yeah, no, it's pretty standard. You grab 25 capsules and you beat the course, and that's how it's done. Switching controllers. <laughs> there you go, bye. Samurai Goro! <laughs> He's just enjoying the music right now. Popping his head. <laughs> Clear. The Bridget Eating level is strong with this player. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love Black Shadow's arrogance, but I mean. If a man in a robo suit that's immortal fucking beat me in a race, I was like, better win this race. I too would probably be that arrogant, so. That guy's gonna play a porn role later on. But, anyways. So, we'll go to customize. FCO shop. And now, this little item section. This is where you get your story modes. So, yeah, we're buying chapter 2. In chapter 2, you gotta. No, no hero is not complete without his rival. I, I mean. Guess. Every hero has his arch nemesis. I guess I'll give the rundown rival. of the gameplay when you get into it. Sounds good. <laughs> so chapter two, Goro, the Vengeful Samurai. 
Here we go. I'm gonna say, imagine if your role in this game was the guy holding the fucking flag in front of machines that go <laughs> oh, well over hundreds of kilometers an hour. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd be scared for my life. I really would. I mean, you gotta love the badassery of Captain Falcon that he did flinch that a katana was near his throat and like Ned had guns pointing at that, That's real badassery. Okay, so while Kyle's doing this mission, the get go of this mission and the difficulty spike between that and harder one is first of all it's a one on run race. Second bit is as soon as he hits the first corner, there are gonna be boulders going flying down the room in all sizes. The higher the difficulty, the more boulders, and the harder it is to actually outrun him. Every time you pass him, he auto boosts. So essentially, conserve your boost. Catch you up to him normally, and then when you get to the final stretches, and you swerve through as much obstacles as possible, and beat him to the race line. Pretty much. And fun fact, this is the only time you'll ever see Red Cannon Canyon is in this chapter. They did not make a course, a racing course specific for Red Canyon. One of them would have been cool. That would have been cool, because like X and the original mm -hmm. FCO for the Super Nintendo had a Red Cannon Canyon level. Okay, he's going to boost there he goes. So now we're pretty much gonna just save our power. Gonna be like trading. Cause like he's gonna hit some boulders eventually, and like the final stretch is when you want to go yeah. ham. You're so. at the final corner now. Now. There you go. Close. I actually thought he was gonna be off. All right. Held closer than it should have been. <laughs> All right, I got the helm for this one. All right, sounds good. Let's watch what happens. Duncan, I'm gonna get you in the Grand Prix. So as you can see, he probably robbed the people to get back into the Grand Prix because his machine looked pretty wrecked. <laughs> Either way, he had to fix his machine in time. Yeah, no. He literally had four chapters to fix it, so I respect that. favorite chapters. Likewise. Keep forgetting that the alligator who is in the cutscene drinking will race. <laughs> Biorex, yeah. You're the famous Falcon. He's a big you enter the bet race. What? Well, please, consider it an old man's last request. Just calm down. We will shortly be closing registration for the next race. The next race is going to start. Hey, where do you think you're taking me? Wait. 
See, look at that exclusive story mode soundtrack that ha was never <laughs> released. <laughs> All right, let's watch the alligator go. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. Nintendo tells you drinking and driving is okay. Yes, but I mean, I just wonder if an alligator has a higher tolerance level than a human. Yeah. Uh, that's debatable. Gotta be getting drunk for something, man. He was on the floor too. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, to be fair, our hero, Captain Fanny, I mean Falcon, was about to have a drink himself, but Mr. Silver Nielsen saved his life there, so that's cool. But anyway, this this objective is basically simple. You're doing a 12-man race, and you just gotta get first place. On very hard mode, all 11 racers are, like, ruthless. Like, they will make sure you do not pass them. This one, it's pretty self-explanatory. People will race. And in fact... Pretty fascinating that Biorex, who's drunk right now, is in second place. <laughs> That's controlling your liquor. That's a good influence, kids. <laughs> Please don't drink and right, drive. Time for the boost section. Yep. Yeah. Plus this one, I feel like you just spam boost power because it is on normal difficulty, so you don't have to worry too much. Actually, if you do try to take shortcuts, your machine will actually automatically explode. So. Take some distance, but be careful not to take any shortcuts. So as you can see, we're down 10 racers already. And that's the only health strip too, so you gotta be careful. Antonio Guster is in the lead right now. I do like how they reference the Famicom by like switching Captain Falcon's name to Famicom. It's like, yeah, a, ma a Jester's mask and a cape. It's like, yeah, that's totally not Captain Falcon. That's pretty funny. Right now, Famicom is winning the race in good old-fashioned speed. Also, if you hit, like, a wall here, it, it sucks. All is well. All is well. Drinking and driving got second place. Maybe it's time for a fourth one. Yeah, I say so. In fact, you know... I think fifth, five, six, seven, eight, we should <laughs> part split off. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Or five, six, seven. Here, and then eight, eight, nine. Once again, Black Shadow is running riot in the Lightning area. All citizens are advised to evacuate immediately. We repeat, all citizens are advised to evacuate. Falcon does not care about my care about money. It's funny he could have invested in the Neo Blue Falcon, but instead, he's got to be a good guy. So let us go and buy Chapter Four. After Chapter Four, we'll probably t call her, and we'll see you in the next video. Perhaps for Chapter Five, maybe we'll see whatever the Let's Player decides. See, I had this strategically figured out. See, we, we didn't skip a single story yet. It's awesome. Now, this next chapter, it's easy on paper, but don't be fooled by the the attentions here. Here we go. I also prefer the best OST ever. Not this. <laughs> this one's pretty good, though. <laughs> So now it's you versus the bloody chain gang. So basically, you have to kill all 29 racers. It's basically the death race mode from FCOX, but it's the bloody chain gang. And you obviously have to kill Michael Chain last. And now, Night of Big Blue, everyone. Oh, best music. Ooh. So depending on how you want to do this, you can boost and press Z and you can actually take multiple out at once. Or if you can wait for them to line up three at once and you can start doing side, uh, pressing side and X to take them out like Kylan just did there. The risk of doing side and X is you could get recoil and that hurts. Especially on the h higher difficulties. Good thing too is this, this stage doesn't have like a health strip, just only one and it covers the whole track. But it's pretty much your last call for getting boost. But at least the racers do give you extra boost, though, because yeah. you, you'll need it, especially once you get the Michael Chain. The, the speedrun strategy of the stage is actually to keep boosting 
to a point where you get up to halfway to Kane and then half the machines expand their boost and it becomes easy killing time. We're going the normal way. <laughs> Three more left. And now, now you gotta be careful about Michael little dance. Also pay attention to the numbers that says rest. When that gets down to zero, the race is finished. And Kylan can now just happily view the ending of the thing. Just do not hit the wall. <laughs> Uh, don't, don't, oh, don't. by the way, fun fact. If you somehow beat Michael Chain in this race and don't kill him, you actually still fail the mission. Because you have to destroy all the machines. So, fun little mystery there. And I think this is the perfect area to end off this Let's Play. Let's enjoy this last cut. Right after the scene. And I would say that's a perfect way to end this playthrough, or the, end this, like, let's play for the day.